Now, though, it is time for travel, and our team's been to Wellington. Debbie, you used to live there, so you're back in all of your old haunts then? Well, funnily enough, I actually challenged Destination Wellington to surprise me, because I did live there for four years, so I thought, well, I know where all my favourite places are, but I went on a taste tour of Wellington, found a whole new lot of favourites, so oh, take really? a look. Yeah. Thank you. Coffee can be as simple as ordering your favourite flat white, but if you come to Flight Coffee's hangar, something gets a lot more interesting. This is a specialty roaster and cafe serving only ethically traded single origin coffee, specialising in non pressurised brewing. To find your favourite, ask for a coffee tasting. Because Flight Coffee's got access to so many delicious coffees, you know, what we can do let's put them all on display and you can taste one and you can taste the little idiosyncrasies and nuances that you get in say the chililito over there and then you can flip it on its head and try the gahahe honey which is processed a completely different way you know when you have like a natural and a washed there's obviously quite a difference and I think for a lot of people the sort of difference in the varietal of coffee and the origin makes a difference that they weren't quite expecting. As Wellington's coffee culture evolved, customers have become much more discerning. I think the biggest thing is uh, the, amount, the amount of variety that you can get these days. Um, single origins are becoming a lot more of a requested option all around the country. And um, yeah, there is definitely a lot more knowledge. You know, the home barista is a guru these days. You know, it can go as shallow or as deep as you want. You know, you can go and you can order your large latte every day of the week or you can try, you know, like a Chilolito filter, you know, and then next week there could be a different origin that you can try. You can get them in like natural process, honey process, wash process. So it's really, it's kind of opening Pandora's box when you start to get interested in coffee. And if you prefer hot chocolate, they do that too. It's made just down the road. In fact, that's the next stop on our taste tour. The difference the origin makes to the taste, a real surprise. It's almost a tang a tanginess to it. Mm. It's so different to the other ones. Uh, but they're like wine and coffee, there are hundreds of different varietals out there and it tastes different depending on the climate and the origin. So we, we do a lot of travel and we try and find the best beans we can. So we can do as little to them as we need to just to bring out the flavour of the bean. From beans to bars, the entire process done on site. Trust me, you will be impressed with the finished product. Oh my goodness. go to one. Oh, it's divine. Ooh. Okay. I officially have the best job <laughs> in the world. I might just stay here all day, eh? <laughs> Luckily, there are more yummy products to try in Hannah's Laneway. It's been dubbed Little Portland, this cosy culinary hub is home to brewers, roasters, bakers and a peanut butter maker. Fix and Fog prides itself on using the best ingredients, Australian hyaluric peanuts and Marlborough sea salt, as well as the traditional smooth and crunchy, the smoke and fire and the chocolate, well worth a try for something a little different. To wash it down, try a tasting at Six Barrel Soda. These are classic soda fountain style sodas made with natural ingredients. Next, on to a premium beer maker. And we're going to take our palates on a sensory adventure. Pretty much, that's the, that's the challenge anyway. Uh, that's the plan. So you pretty much, we try and do about 30 different beers here at Falcon Brewer. Uh, so just a small selection today of eight beers. Uh, We've got everything from these uh, naturally soured beers, where I use a couple of strains of yogurt or cheese making bacteria to, to enable the souring process, and then uh, do all sorts of interesting things with different yeasts and fruit and all sorts. We've got beer here with um, some locally roasted coffee beans. Challenge accepted. Pace yourself, Fork and Brewer has 40 beer taps. The advantage of being a brew pub is that in particularly a brew pub with a large number of taps is that we've got the um, ability to really push the envelope in terms of the styles of beer that we brew. It may look like a home brewer's garden shed but Falcon Brewer is the award winning brewery that's the perfect place to end your taste tour of Wellington.
Well, what a great idea to taste some of the products. Yes. Speed taste test Speed coming up. Speed taste test. So Trifix and Fogg's chocolate peanut butter. So they use Whitaker's dark chocolate for this. Mm. Yes, I know. I know. You can't talk once you've eaten chocolate. That's a radio rule. So mm. beautiful. Wash it down with a six barrel soda. This is the strawberry and cream flavour. And this is all the natural products that they use in this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Even after the, the peanut butter, it's really good too. Yeah, mm. absolutely. And this is the Wellington Chocolate Company Salted, oh, take a little, take the little piece, <laughs> Mel. Okay. Okay. We want to take Try that bit. Okay. Yeah, salted, so it's a salted brittle. Yes, that, absolutely. Sometimes I really love my job. <laughs> Today is one of them. I brought this back just for you guys. So there's enough for all of us to have a try as that well. That is amazing. And yeah. you brought back some coffee as well. Flight Coffee gave us the Chilinectu to try. So we're all drinking the Flight Coffee coffee today. Mm, thank you so much. Yeah. I really want to eat that big one. It's very difficult to talk once you've got chocolate. <laughs> but thank you. I'll try. Excuse me. For more ideas and information ahead of your Wellington holiday, go to wellingtonnz.com.